Hey everyone, how's it going? Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 10 shots and we're gonna use the Fuji X-H2S with the nostalgic negative film simulation as the basis for a recipe that I'm gonna dial in to try to enhance some fall colors and see what we could do with that. You know, I made a choice today. I could sit at my desk and look deep into the heart of despair or I could get out and take a couple photos before I have to go pick up my son in an hour and a half from school. So let's go see if we can find some beauty in the fall season. Okay, we're dealing with uh, no clouds, just blue sky, which is all right. And a lot of wind. And like, the, it's like dead noon. So it's, the light's kind of at its worst spot of the day. And also there's like emergency sirens going on, which is awesome. And uh, so we're gonna work within those challenges. I'm gonna try to find focal points for each photo, make them beautiful no matter what. What, is the time for sirens? Okay, that's shot number one with the uh, 50 to 140. I knew that it was gonna be windy, so we had to bump up our shutter speed. And what's great about the X-H2S is that the tracking is pretty awesome. So I'm just using uh, the uh, continuous focus and I'm putting my focus point on one of the leaves and it's tracking it as it moves and it looks like it's doing a good job. I think uh, my test so far reveal, revealed that it's actually doing a pretty good job. And uh, first shot, nice little fall picture. Okay, shot number two, got these reddish orange leaves on this uh, branch here, this tree, whatever this is. And what I need to do is move around a little bit and then zoom in and try to make sure that the background, because the sun's hitting the leaves, make the background darker. Because a lot of splotchy sun everywhere. If the background's darker, then the leaves are gonna really stand out decently well. And we'll see how uh, this film recipe uh, looks later. What I've done with the recipe is just kind of added a little bit of color, a little bit of contrast, some grain, make it look pretty cool and gritty and fall-ish. And uh, I think this is going to be a decent shot. We'll see. Shot number three is a little twirly twirl. So if there's a little detail on whatever kind of weed that is or whatever and it's kind of a pretty little detail with the little twirl so get in close focus on that use a high shutter speed to control the movement and uh blur out the background focus on that decent photo okay so shot number four is i have this cool tree with this branch that's sticking out to the side where you can see the the backlighting so the sun's just hitting these leaves really kind of cool with some yellows and browns and then I got some flowing grasses behind it and I'm going to shoot this with the 90 f2 because the f2 is going to allow me to blur out the background even more than the 50 to 140 2.8 and really kind of zone in on those uh backlit leaves that looks just incredible I think shots five and six are going to be looking up into the sun. The sun's in a really great spot to be able to shoot through some stuff. And now I'm gonna cheat a little bit cause I'm gonna take like probably 10 shots because when the sun is shooting through straight into the glass, sometimes the focus, whether you're manly focusing or whatever, is kind of tough to do cause it's hard to see a little bit. Uh, but we'll get one of those shots that works well and I'll get kind of one arrangement with yellow and maybe one arrangement with green. This is, is what I'm looking at right now. So one of the things I'm thankful for with some of the newer Fuji cameras is the electronic shutter. Let's us go to like 10, 12, 20, 32,000 on our shutter, which is crazy, it's bonkers. But without an ND filter, oh, it's really windy. Without an ND filter, there's really no other option to be able to get F2 and get those like leaves, for instance, just looking so perfect uh, and still get some crazy, crazy background blur. So I love the ability of the Fujis to shoot high shutter speeds. And that being said, I think shot number six is gonna be this, uh, I don't know what it's called because I never know what anything is called, but there's really pretty little white things on the tip of some green things. 
So those are <laughs> that's gonna be shot number six. You know what I'm doing with something like that is just trying to wait for it to move as the wind moves, for it to move into position where the background is not super competitive with what I want the viewer to look at. Remember every photo has to have like an, a point of interest. You gotta give the viewer something to stick their teeth into. And as I'm just dealing with full on sun and probably look fantastic, um, we're gonna go off and do shot number seven here soon. Shot number seven is gonna be in this field. All right, and we got these brownish things sticking out and they're gonna contrast well, really stick out of the background uh, with all the yellow and the gold behind it. And we're kind of looking to see if we can get a good composition with one of those in focus and have everything else kind of working towards bring our eye right into that one object, which is this unnameable, unknowable thing out in nature. And right next to shot number seven, we have shot number eight, a single tree in the middle of this field. We have some decent blue in the sky, which is kind of cool. The light is hitting the tree kind of nicely. And if I could find a way to wade through this stuff and get that isolated, it's going to be a good shot too, I think. Okay, we're switching to the 33 1.4 because I could not get back far enough without falling into some crazy ditch to get this shot. I probably, <laughs> I probably could have spent like 20 minutes there moving around, you know, the scene. But what I'm going to do is mark it, you know, to come back very soon because we only have a couple weeks of these kind of trees and this kind of weather and uh, come back and kind of spend a little bit more time there. Uh, but I think what I got was pretty cool, kind of like a, a proof of, of concept for that spot. And uh, I'll probably bring the GFX and the 81.7, create some crazy magic with that combination. Okay, so we got three shots left. I gotta kind of hurry because my son's gotta be like wondering where his dad is. And I can't just say it was too beautiful to come pick you up, son. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, okay, beauty's everywhere. Oh my gosh, there's a leaf stuck in a, uh, one of these things, these uh, weed things, it's awesome. There's a giant tree out by the field where I just walked from and it's super bright and a great blue sky and we're gonna see if we could silhouette it with the darkness of these leaves right here. Okay, that was shot nine. I don't know if it's any good. I kind of looked at it on the back of my camera. So you tell me if you like shot nine or not, we'll see. And we have one more shot now. I have a good ways to get back to the car. So we might have a couple candidates for shot number nine, a spider webs going in my face and uh, we'll see what we can do. I know I need, like if we're doing a storytelling series, right? Like of the, gosh, a spider web. If we're doing a storytelling series of like this uh, trail at this time of year, Neil Woods in Omaha, Nebraska, uh, I need one like wider shot, don't I? Probably of like the side of the hill with all those trees. So I want to reserve that for shot 10, but if we, get something else amazing uh we'll just we'll just call that one shot 10 and maybe we'll do a we'll cheat again and we'll do shot 10 a and b because i make the rules on this channel i'm pretty sure we're in shot 10 a b c and d territory right now one of the things uh, that i always look for is looking down and finding some cool patterns with the leaves that are just falling and for whatever reason i fell in love with this one little pattern that I almost stepped on. What we might need to do is do a whole other video of just me coming back here and just getting stuff on the ground because I keep finding some cool patterns and I'm running out of time to, <laughs> to go get my son. So I can't look too long, but man, this is some cool stuff. Shot 10. The actual shot 10, my last shot of the day, most likely, is going to be a panorama because we have a valley. We have some cool clouds. We have some decent looking trees. I think uh, the 33 1.4 shooting all the way around might be kind of cool.
We made it. I'm gonna be able to go and get my son. He won't be stranded out somewhere because I wanted to go take photos. But I just want to say how pumped I am. This is the magic of photography, right? For us to be able to go out about an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half or so um, total to walk this path and get some true fall beauty. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see them on the computer and to kind of, you know, relive these moments of taking these photos in the editing station. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and we'll see you next time.